Good morning, Minecrafters and YouTubers. Elfogger here back. I just wanted to show you a quick build that I made here. It's a wool farm, as you can see. Um, my buddy White Goliath needed some special colors of wool and needed quite a bit of it, so I put this, this together for him. Um, I'm about to change it right now to start making one color of, of each for each sheep. That way I can start making uh, all the red wood power two wires, these insulated wires. So I'll go through and make uh, a sheep each color. That way I can start making those. But uh, to show you how I made this, um, dirt was just temporary. I'll probably easier to put glass on it so you can see the colors easily from the side. But uh, pretty much I have a deployer on the side with shears in it, um, and then on the underneath I have a little nice little sit nifty setup here. Um, pretty much I have uh, transposers in the middle um, spaced out as you can as you can see uh, and that's, that's enough space to pick up the wool if it falls um, obviously the walls are there to keep the wool inside so that they can pick it up and then I just have railway wire going underneath the um, the deployers and then I have as you saw over here jacket wire going over to the um, redstone uh, mag tubes. Uh, so the way I have this set up, I'm not sure this is the most, probably not the most efficient setup, but it was what, it was able to do what I wanted to do. Um, if I pulse this, you can hear it cut, and then it pulses one more time to uh, pick up the wool. So what happened was is that the transposers don't always pick up the wool fast enough on that initial um, on that initial shear. So what I do is I put a pulse former, a state cell that goes over this. I'm not sure why this is important, but it, if I put a wire here, it will just loop over and over and over again. So this, for whatever reason, is important. <laughs> and then uh, just a um, repeater to uh, to hold that signal for the second uh, second pulse. But uh, but yeah, it works works really well. As you can see, um, he doesn't did it out, but I mean it works it works extremely well. And as you can see, there's no wool sitting on here. I had it I had the timer going. I think um, every minute and a half, I think it pulsed. Um, I think I think that's what I did, and that seemed to be work pretty well. Obviously, this is chunk loaded, uh, so it was going all the time. So, like in day, I got I filled this chest inner chest up like twice in day, uh, um, for it just continuously go, continuously running. So that's why it's actually off right now because we have too much wool. But uh, I'm about to set up a barrel system for it anyway, so it should be fine. But yeah, uh, that is my nifty setup for uh, for that. Um, actually, I'll show you real quick my thumbcraft farm I have a uh, smart straw golem who um, who picks and uh, who picks and replants uh, crops and then I have of course uh, some normal I've, I've, I gave him perception uh, wood golem uh, to do pick up stuff um, but yeah it works really well uh, hook up to the inner chest the inner chest is actually the same as my, um, it's the same as my uh, quarry. So it actually goes into here. And the way I have it set up is it comes, it goes all the way through into this chest, and then this um, the sorting machine takes it, uh, labels it, and then it shoots it down into my magnitude network which is kinda nice and then I brought that up through the bottom here like so and uh, that comes up into the wall and which I have to actually finish it comes over here so as you can see uh, <laughs> it's pretty effective but uh, I do like the fact that I'll be able to hide these tubes. You won't be able to see them. Actually, let's take a look. Let's see what that looks like right now, real quick. I, think I got everything on me. Let me 
need some more of those. That's panel. I haven't decided what I'm going to do about the corner there. If I'm going to send them to make it, you know, actually put it out like that or or what, but I have some more. I should have one mob on me. I do. Let's see what it looks like. Seriously? It doesn't look too bad. In theory, that should also be. That should also match. Oops. Like like so, but of course that won't work. But yeah, I mean, as you can tell, I like it. That's hidden. You won't be able to see it. I'll put a uh, a cover over that as well, so you can't see through the pipe. But uh, but yeah. That is uh, my new system. Not too much going on besides that. I got some one of the new uh, forestry farms going here. Things super super efficient. It throws out tons and tons of resources. It's kind of ridiculous actually. I have to I let it go because it's just too much. I have the other two farms and that one. It was just overfilling all my energy. So it did its job. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, that's it for now. Uh, check back later, and I'll be sure to post any new projects I have. And soon I'll also start posting some of what he's, uh, what White Clyde is up to as well. So, have a good one and happy crafting.